Hey guys, Christina here, and today I have a homeschool haul for you from SHARE, or Canadian Home Education Resources, which is located in Calgary. Most of this is from a sale that they had back in January, but it took a while for one of my items to come in, so I just recently got it. So the very first book is called Coming to Canada by Robert Livesey, is I believe how you say it. This book has stories from immigrants around the world coming to Canada, sharing a little bit of what their experience was. They have a number of different countries here. They have Kenya, Chile, Korea, Kuwait, Great Britain, China, Nigeria, and on and on. They have a lot of countries. And one thing I really liked about this is that at the end of each little story, they have topics for discussion and creative challenges. So I'm really excited to use this to have a read through. I'll probably be using this mostly with my grade nine student next year, but a little bit with my younger students as well. The next book is this one here, Canadian Government. This is recommended for grades five to eight. Again, my oldest will probably be using it the majority of the time, my younger children, some of them. But it's all about electing a government, the different levels of government, how bills come into being, the different branches, the constitution, just a bunch of worksheets that I can use for enhancing our education and study of Canada next year. Next is The King's Daughter by Suzanne Martel. This is a story of a girl that comes over from France as one of the king's daughters and her experience and how it's not quite what she thought it was going to be, but she has strength to get through the experience and enjoys her new home. So that's a book we're going to be reading next year. Then I picked up this one here, As Long As the River Flows. This is by Larry Loihi. This is actually an author who lived near where we used to live in northern Alberta. And it's a very gentle explanation and introduction to the residential school system and the experience of children and this is the author's story himself so it's a book i really enjoy and i wanted to have my own copy of it next one here is storm at batouche this is by maxine trottier john mantha very famous canadian um, content cre creator for home education this is a story about a boy who gets lost in a snowstorm and a man called louis finds him and it's just kind of their experience together and his kindness. And of course, at the end, it is Louis Riel, a very famous Canadian. And then I have this book here. This is Hidden Buffalo by Rudy Weeb. This is a story about, um, it's based on a Cree legend, about when the buffalo were disappearing and the people were hungry. And the person, one of the boys, I think it was, had a, a vision that they should go south to find the buffalo. And so it's about, do they follow into enemy territory or do they not? And what happens there? The rest of the stuff I got from Cher is math. <laughs> not the most exciting, but I'm preparing for next year. So I picked up Saxon Math 3. I have a review of Saxon on my YouTube channel here. I'll put a link up top if you want to see. Um, but that's the level 3. This one is just the tests and the worksheets for level eight, seven. My son actually started this a few weeks ago, a month ago, and so I've been waiting for this, so he needed this. And then the most expensive item <laughs> was the algebra one. This comes with a, a homeschool packet, so you get like the book and the test and then an answer key, but the answer key is only just the answers. There's no explanation or anything, and so, I picked up the solutions manual, which actually goes into detail and tells you how to solve each question, which is what I needed. Saxon is quite expensive when you get to this level. It was almost $300 for this level, but again, I have four of the children who are gonna use it, so it's not that expensive when you average it out. So there you go. That's everything I picked up from Cher and from their sale in January. Let me know if you started to collect curriculum for the fall, and if you have any questions about any of these, I'm happy to answer them as well. Otherwise, I hope this finds you having a great day. Take care.